Okay, here's the second version of Whiskey Before Breakfast. This is a little harder than the first one I gave you, which is sort of a beginner version. Again, this is not a super easy tune, so if you're just beginning, uh, you might want to think twice about taking this on, but it's a fun one to play. Again, it's in the key of D. That's a D scale for those of you who need to learn it. Go out and learn it. Okay, so it starts like this. Mistakes, I realize, but we'll uh, correct those as we go. Okay, so here's part one. I'll play it and then explain it. Also, which is what I'm going to show you now. So, open D. D scale, open D, 2nd fret D string, 4th fret, 5th fret, and then open D, open E, sorry, A, I can't talk anymore, too much whiskey. Okay, so open D, 2nd fret, 4th fret, 5th fret, and then back to the 4th fret of the D string. Open D. And then back to the fourth fret. And then open A. Here's the riff. Which is open A, second fret, open, fifth fret, fourth fret, open. Second, fourth. Okay, so we got. Now we have a long run. So what was that? Fifth fret on the A D string. 2nd fret A, open A, back to 5th fret D, and then 4th fret on the D, open A, 5th fret D, 4th fret D. So those first two parts of that run are... So if you can see my right hand here, let me see if I can adjust this a little bit. Try that again. Stick the pick out so you can see what's going on. Okay, and then it goes second fret D, open, second, fourth, second, sixth fret on the low G, fourth fret, second. Also played it once, which some people do. And that's fourth fret on the G to second fret on the G. That's an open D. And 
and then you go back and repeat the first line. Second ending. So let me show you what that is. We do this run. And then we're going to go second fret on the D, open D, second fret, fourth, and then open D. Back up a little so you can see both hands. Okay. Whole first section one more time. Strokes as you get better, obviously. And as you get better with the pick, let me get over here so you can see what's going on. When you play with the pick, there's two things that are going on. One is, see how my pick is tilted? It's not square or perpendicular to the strings. It's tilted. Plus, it's also a little bit of a twist to it. So when I hit the string, the tip of the pick can ride over the string either direction because it's going over this bump side to side, not flat on. So as you work on your down and up strokes, that's really important that you get a nice grip with the pick tilted. You can do it either way. Some people tilt it this way. I tilt mine this way. Everything's covered up when I'm picking, so you'll have to take my word for it. Okay, part two. One, two, three, four. Okay, so pretty much like the first part of the easy section if that made any sense to you. So, fifth fret on the D, I'm in the A string, and I'm getting the open D with it. You get a D octave is what that is. And then open A, second fret, fifth fret, and then back to second fret. That's all on the A string. And then, 5th fret on the D, 4th fret, 2nd fret, open. Then I do the slide up to the E on the A string, which is 5th fret to 7th fret, doubling it with the high E. Then 1st string, open. 2nd fret, 3rd fret, 2nd fret, open, 5th fret, 4th fret. Those are all in the A string, I should have told you that. So it's first to, to review that, 1st string, open, 2nd to 3rd, back to 2nd to open. Now A string, 5th fret, 4th fret, 2nd fret, open. I screwed up. Yeah, so the end of that lick, I actually go up instead of going down, so. And then I play open A, second fret, fourth fret. And then, big run. Fifth fret on the second string, the A string. First string, second fret, open. Fifth fret, A string. And then, 
fourth fret A string, open A E string, fifth fret A string, back to fourth, and then A string second fret, fifth fret, fourth, second, open, D string fourth fret, open. Fifth fret on the D, second fret on the A, then fourth fret on the D to open A, back to the D, and then D string, second, open, second, fourth, open. So let me play it. As you can tell, I sort of play it a little differently all the time because I've played it so many different ways. But I'll try to give you as close to what I just said as possible. So here we go. What is that? That's the seventh fret on the low G string, which matches your D string.